In terms of a collection strategy, that is something that's uh, really in process right now. My first year at the Mead, I uh, worked with the curators and we reinstalled the entire collection for the first time in seven years. Uh, the approach in the past, which I totally understood, was to focus on uh, masterpieces that audiences were familiar with, they would come in, teachers could teach right. for those objects. But we have 19,000 objects and we have you know, a relatively small museum space, about uh, 5,000 square feet. So my idea is that I want to rotate those uh, works uh, quite a bit so that the students can be exposed to a full range of, of artwork and really to, to honor those gifts um, and to honor their use in the, in the collection. Uh, from a collection strategy standpoint too, I love that process because it's one thing to look at a work uh, on a website or to know what's in your collection as a list, but to see the kinds of conversations that uh, can develop. So um, through that process, uh, we're, we're getting a, a handle on what we're going to go uh, and do going forward. And I would say that the, one of the main areas that we'll really focus on is really the post-1960s era. So take the foundations of our uh, collection, American, Russian, really strong in European, and then develop those uh, going, going forward.